Next, we're going to learn the cervical plexus. So start by drawing four arrows and a half and label them C1, 2, 3 and 4. Now I draw the motor and the sensory on separate sides. However, in reality, they both lie on both sides. So on the left, we're going to draw the motor. And first of all, we're going to draw ansa cervicalis. So, sorry, this is my motor side. And this is sensory. So ansa cervicalis. This supplies lots of the muscles. And then I'm also going to add in the phrenic nerve. So the phrenic nerve is three, four, five, keeps the diaphragm alive. Not actually part of the cervical plexus, but if you did a deep cervical plexus block, you're going to get the phrenic nerve. So it's worth considering this. And it's also worth noting that the hypoglossal nerve, cranial nerve 12, also has some input to answer cervicalis. So then the next step is to add in the sensory nerves. So start by doing one line from C2, and this represents the lesser occipital. And then draw one line between C2 and C3, and this represents transverse cervicalis and the greater auricular. And then between C3 and 4, draw the supraclavicular. This has three different areas, so that's why I draw three separate branches. And that is the cervical plexus.